Welcome to another video and hello if you are new. My name is Alyssa and this is Dreaming of the Farm. In today's video, I am sharing how I decorated my farmhouse front porch for the second time. So I shared earlier in the season how I decorated the porch for our Christmas card and now I am sharing how we decorated it um, for Christmas 2020. I hope this video provides you guys some inspiration. Christmas hello. porch part two. All right, we just went to Walmart and we picked up some fake trees. We got this set of two three and a half foot flocked Christmas trees. We got this six foot flocked pine tree to go in a little corner of the porch nestled by the side door to the laundry room. We also got this 38 inch metal mailbox, only $30. And I just thought that this was really cute and just a great way to add a little charming character to the space, but without making it look like too chintzy. We're trying to stay away from that. Some of these indoor cords. So they didn't have outdoor, but our porch has great coverage, so we think that this will be okay. Picked up some lights. We went with these 100 miniature lights, and this is only six feet. Lots of bows from the Dollar Tree. Five red, four burlap. We got this 50 foot non-lit garland, which was not what I wanted. I wanted something thicker and lusher, but our budget, we just have to cut it off somewhere for Christmas. Reefs, so the Red fire truck will be for the front door. This will be for the side porch door, which has a really nice green screen door. And I think that that red will look very beautiful there. Picked up this piece on earth sled. My husband actually has like a real sled, so we might grab that. Two wreath hooks from the Dollar Tree and these wreaths were from Lowe's. I'm going to be using this garland around the stairs. This garland is from my first front porch video. And I also picked up this garland from Walmart and it is pre-lit. And my idea is for it to go around the front door. So this is what we are using to decorate our front porch. We also have a big bucket of lights that we will be using as well. The first thing we did was remove the furniture we had on the porch. And that is my toddler, Ellery, by the way. She turned two in August, and she absolutely loves to help out with projects like this. Ellery, what's in the mail? Ellery. I, I can't wait to send my letter to Santa. Is it a single one? That's a single one. Once the porch was cleared, we opened up the largest items first and examined them to make sure we took mental note of the proper way to put these items back after the season. Christmas decor is not cheap. It has been a large investment for us and we certainly plan to take very good care of everything by making sure we store it away properly. Good flocking, all right. We wanted our front door and entryway to be as welcoming and warm as possible, so we did this by adding those two petite pre-lit flock trees and a garland on the top, as well as a wreath. No Christmas is complete without a wreath, and I absolutely love this one. It's not your traditional wreath, but I think it really works well with the current green door, and I think when we eventually get a wooden door, it will work well too. This sled is from Walmart. It was super affordable. I plan to add a vertical welcome sign. I just haven't found one that speaks to me yet. And I absolutely love the red Santa North Pole mailbox. Robert wasn't a fan, but I'm so glad I convinced him in getting that. Calorie. Yeah, these make great blocks. Ah! 
a nail up there and that's what we have them on. I'll put it on the tree. <laughs> Careful Ellery. So we did the best we could to make sure that the lights all matched up with each other on the beams, but different imperfections on the porch made that a little challenging. We always find it to twinkle better when you put the lights up first and the garland up second. We secured the garland with a nail on the inside of the porch ceiling by hooking it on carefully and securely. We had to add some extra nails for all the extension cords. My husband actually had to run back out to the store and grab more. We used about 20, so we definitely didn't anticipate that, but we wanted them to all look like they had their own electric, and I didn't want to run a large orange extension cord, but we wound up having to run one anyway, but it's only one. and it still keeps the magic alive. Bows are so much fun. I would add many more if Robert would allow it, but he likes to keep it as simple as possible. But yeah, I absolutely love these burlap bows from the Toddler Tree, and I like how it ties in well with the traditional red, but yeah, I think it's the perfect combination of rustic meets farmhouse style meets traditional Christmas. And I just really like how all the bows uh, make, just make it look so charming. Emmeline, by the way, she just turned nine months old. So for some reason, we completely forgot or didn't even think about adding lights to the stair banister. So we just were able to continue on from that last beam. And what we did was hide the lights underneath the final porch step, which is great because it gets pretty dark here at night. And we were able to continue it on to the other side. Our goal was to try and connect the electric to the entryway but for some reason it didn't work. The lights were not plugging in with our extension cord. So my husband ran another extension cord for the front door and I just kept the lights going on the bushes. We weren't really planning to do the full house in this moment, but I just kept going. And once you start, it's kind of hard to stop. One of the last things I did was warm up the porch with a few Christmas blankets and pillows from a few seasons ago that have been well loved. So if the weather gets bad, I won't be too disappointed if they get damaged. These were from Home Goods. I also added a few tiny indoor decorations that I didn't have a spot for inside. 
to the tiny coffee table we use on the porch and I will likely add a few poinsettias as well. Emmy's got to go see her first Christmas <laughs> lights. Let's go see Emmy's first Christmas. Why don't you get the big one? I hope she's Paw Patrol. I went. Is she coming? No. Hey, Emma, are you excited to see your Christmas lights? Friends, we couldn't be happier with how this porch came out. It's very magical, and I plan to cozy up with hot cocoa out there as often as I can this season. I hope this video brings you a little inspiration as well as a safe escape during these uncertain and weird times. It's a strange feeling to be this happy when the world is in such a stressed state, so I am constantly starting and ending my day with a grateful heart. My family and I have been very blessed, and I am keeping that at the forefront of all my thoughts. I would love to hear from you and find out what you are most grateful for this holiday season, so please leave a comment down below. I pray your family is healthy, and I hope your season is as joyous as can be. I hope this video brings you some inspiration of how you can festify your life for Christmas 2020, because if there's anything I know right now is that we all need a little Christmas. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!